Bev Weeb joins us from Central Station to talk about something that's coming up. Uh, well, has ha- been happening every Monday, but this mm-hmm. Monday is a special one. It is. It's your community meal. So tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on with this. Absolutely. So we're very excited to have our first ever community Christmas meal at Central Station at our new location. Um, we're expecting, we're preparing for 700 people. Who knows how many people will show up? But um, in the past, it's been really well attended. I think people are excited to get out and, and see friends and neighbors and get to know the community again so we're having a full-on Christmas dinner so and like the big thing about this is the fact that it's in the new building uh, how has that transition from old building to new building kind of gone for you guys it's been really good it's been very nice to see people have um, space to mingle right so we had a great space in our old building but here we can spread out a little bit and you can get up and walk around and chat with other people that are at the meal so that's been so so nice to uh, just be able to provide a place of, of community and belonging and uh, not just kind of an in and out quickly grab your meal and leave uh, space so it's been good when when it comes to the Christmas meals you guys have done Christmas mm-hmm. meals before but this is the yep. first one in the new building um, when it comes to planning something like this how does this differ than like the regular community meals that you guys put out on Mondays oh we go a little over the we we go a little extra <laughs> I was gonna uh, say over the top it will be good so there's ham and meatballs and coleslaw and corn and potatoes and buns and cheesecakes I believe for dessert and um, decorations on the table to make it festive there will be some entertainment which i think is a bit of a surprise so i won't uh, disclose those details but yeah we we do try and make it a really special meal and um and spread it out a little longer i think we're serving from 4 30 to 7 as well so it gives more people opportunity to come um we do provide rides as well as uh, with transportation. Our central station vans will pick you up if you need a ride there or back. So we do. We just love to make it a community celebration, and uh, it'll be it'll be a good event. When it does come to something like this, how what's the feedback, and how important is this for the community? In the past, the feedback has been really, really good. Some a fam. Individuals, families may, maybe don't have anyone else in the community right. um, that they're close to, that they don't have, you know, big family gatherings or that kind of thing. So this is just a really op- a good opportunity to, to celebrate with a larger crowd, right? And uh, get to know people around your table, maybe get to know some new friends. Um, we've had lots of people at community meals that have met um met new friends and you know that relationship has continued after the meal so uh, the the funding for this meal actually has come through arts culture and sport in community fund oh, cool. uh, community celebrations grant uh, from the the government of manitoba and so it is all about celebrating community and and being a part of a larger community so it'll be it'll be a great time uh do we have to reserve a spot for this is this kind of just show up and it's and just enjoy moving? yeah How does that show work? show up no registration required um don't Donations accepted. If someone wants to donate something, throw it into the tin. They can, but uh, n- no charge. It's uh, just come and enjoy each other's company and celebrate community together. So it's going to be happening this upcoming Monday, the nineteenth. Uh, Bev, thank you so much for doing this yeah. and and for doing this for the community as well. And Merry Christmas. Thanks. Same to you.